Hi guys and welcome to the next video of Microsoft Intune series. In the last video, we talked about Win32 applications in Microsoft Intune. We talked about Intune Win extension and I demonstrated you how to add and deploy Win32 applications to Windows devices with Microsoft Intune. In case you have missed that video, you can refer to the link that you can see on your screen. In this particular video, we are going to talk about line of business applications. We will understand what type of applications you can deploy using line of business app deployment, how to add line of business applications in Microsoft Intune, and then we will deploy an application to Windows device using line of business app deployment. To deploy line of business applications, you will go to Microsoft Endpoint Manager. You need to log in with one of the global administrator or Intune administrator account. You will go to applications or apps and by platform, click Windows because in this demo, we are going to deploy application on Windows device. Now here you will click add and under app type, you will see line of business app. In the previous video, when we talked about the difference between Win32 app and line of business app, we discussed that line of business applications are a legacy application deployment method in Microsoft Intune. If you have an application that has a single file and that application has an extension like .msi or .msix, you can deploy these applications through line of business app deployment. But let's say if you have an application that has multiple supported files or the extension of that application is .exe, these applications can be deployed through Win32 app deployment method. So let's download one MSI file from Google. So for this demo, let's use Google Chrome browser. And for testing purpose, if you want to test, you can go to Google and type download Google Chrome MSI installer. And here we should see a link. Let's try this one. Click download, accept. So let's go to this file and let me create a folder move this inside this folder and let's extract here under installers we will find a file and this file has dot msi extension so we are going to use this particular application to deploy on this windows machine with microsoft intune so let's go back to endpoint manager Let's close this and under app type, we will select line of business app. And here you can see what sort of extensions are supported under this type of app deployment. For Android, you need to use APK extension. For iOS, it's IPA. For Mac OS, it's dot package or PKG. And for Windows, you need one of these extensions so that you can deploy those applications using line of business app deployment method so click select and next to select file click select app package file here browse the file this is the application that we are going to use this is dot msi you can see the name google chrome platform windows this is the size and click ok so here we need to add some details so the publisher for this application is Google. Next option is ignore app version. If you select this option to yes, in that case, this application will be updated automatically. Next is show this as a featured app in company portal. This is optional, but if you want this application to be reflected in company portal, and if you want that end user should install this application from company portal, then select yes. Rest are the optional fields. Go next. Under assignments, we need to add a group of user or group of devices, or even we can add all the users and all the devices under assignments so that this application can be applied to the devices or the users. So let's create a group. And first, let me verify the host name of this machine. It's host name, it's 18J. So let's go back and go to groups this time let's add a group on the basis of object id of the device so create a new group 
let me close this window first here let's type a name lob app and membership type will be dynamic device add dynamic query and here we will type object id operator will be equals so let's go to portal dot azure.com because we need the object id of the device so that we will get from azure ad so go to azure active directory and then go to devices all devices and here look for the device and here we have this object id so go back to group paste the value here A rule is created click save and click create so the group is created lob app go to members and you can see this device is added as well go back to endpoint manager under required we will add the group that we just created lob app and click select go next review the changes if you want to make any change go back and then click create so now this particular application will be uploaded here you can see uploading google chrome uploading this file and this is the size of this file here you can see the completion status as well and depending on the file size it may take a couple of minutes so the file is uploaded and here we can see it is assigned to the device as well to the group that we just added within the policy and now let's go to this device go to devices windows 18j and let's sync this device click yes sync is initiated let's go to the device now now once google chrome will start installing you will see a notification here this is microsoft support and recovery assistant that we deployed in the previous session and let's initiate one sync from device as well so let's go to accounts under accounts go to access work or school and here click on info and click sync so the sync is completed and let's check if browser is installed so we can see chrome is installed let's open this and it's working now let's go to event viewer logs and let's see if we can find any logs related to this app installation so we will find the logs under windows and application and here we should have this log so it says product google chrome installation completed successfully windows installer installed the product product name google chrome this is the version and these are the details and installation success or error status zero so it was completed successfully and let's go to endpoint manager and let's check the status of the application that we deployed so go to windows and google chrome and it says installed one you can see here as well device install it is installed on this device and this is the user account that is being used within the device this is the operating system of the device application version status is installed the other way to check what applications are deployed on a particular device is you can go to devices and go to the device for which you want to check for example you want to check what sort of applications are installed on this particular device so you will go to device properties and here you will click managed apps and here you can see sara setup.exe and google chrome are installed installation status says installed installed so these two applications are installed on this particular machine so guys with this we have completed app deployment on windows devices we have covered all type of app deployment and we have covered under devices 
we have talked about automatic enrollment and we have talked about CNAME validation as well. These topics we are going to cover later. We have covered compliance policies, configuration profiles. Now we are left with PowerShell scripts and update rings for Windows 10 and later feature updates and quality updates. So in the next video, we will talk about PowerShell scripts and in upcoming videos, we will talk about updates. And guys, if you want to learn Microsoft Intune in depth, I would recommend you to click on the link that you can see on the screen and go through this playlist. In the next video, we will learn how we can deploy PowerShell scripts on Windows device with Microsoft Intune to automate certain processes. So that is all for now. I'll see you all in the next video. Thank you guys. Thank you for your time. Take care.